Today I'm going to be installing a roller cam on this system right here. Roller cam on this system right here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to provide a slow feed of chlorine for me so I don't have to keep coming here every week or dosing the pool with a full gallon of chlorine. This is going to keep it down. I can adjust it with the dial right here so I can have a constant 4 ppm of chlorine in this pool at all times so this customer will never run out of chlorine. These roller cams are the way to go um, because of that reason. We come here, we dump a gallon of chlorine in this pool, in a 20,000 gallon pool, that's only going to give me about a 6 ppm chlorine. Now the sun is going to take about a ppm a day and then you got to add swimming, you got the heat of the water and everything else. There's no way 6 ppm of chlorine is going to last all week long in this pool. And uh, let's go out to the pool. Okay, here's the pool. And you see it's a good sized pool. Pools like this with swimming, kids playing, the heat of the sun, and everything else. 6 ppm is not going to last. And that's why we're going to be installing a roller cam. Alright, now the first thing we're going to have to do kill, kill all the power. Now, what we need to do is go on the load side of this right here. Well, the load side of the pump is what we want. Roller cam will go on when the pump turns on. We want to make sure that we're, we're dead in here. This is right here are the two wires that we're going to need. The dead and dead. Okay, we got the panel back on, power back on, roller cam going here, and now what we need to do is just turn on the pull pump, and there's our roller cam. Okay, everything's working good, it's turning. Now we got to hook her up, so let's get to that. Okay. And turn this counterclockwise and pull it straight out. Let's unravel our hose. Make sure to be careful with this end here. This end is going to be the chlorine bucket side. So this is how it's going to go in. Want the clamps over on the right hand side. Just like so and then turn it off. All you gotta do. Now, what you wanna do is get a return line. This is our return line going back to the pool. It is after the heater. We do not wanna put it in this one going to the heater. We don't want chlorine going into the heater. We want it coming out. So come and follow the lines, come out. This is our return line. We want a coupling. Coupling is thicker than a pipe. We don't want to really go into a pipe and drill a hole just into the pipe here because it's not thick enough. So um, every job has a 90 or a coupling or whatever. So what you want to do is we're going to drill a hole into this coupling right here. You can just see that chlorine going down that tube. Okay. Now what I want to do is we don't want it in continuous. We're going to take it out and put it on the timer mode. Okay, and here's how you adjust what you want. 
it's going to basically be gallons a day here. Um, I want to go with very low setting. Okay. The setting right here is going to give you about a gallon a week is what uh, this usually comes to. So I'm going to go about a gallon a week and then that's all you need. And if you have to adjust that a little bit more, if you pool needs more chlorine, if you have a big party, whatever, you can just come down here and dial this down and it'll continue running. Because right now, see how it stopped? It stopped now because I want a timer here. So it's not going to continuously to feed chlorine. So you're not going to run out of chlorine in your bucket. So it'll stop a little bit later. It'll come back on again, feed again, and it'll just keep feeding and keep this pool at whatever we set it for. And uh, right here for these, this is about a 12 gallon uh, a day uh, roller can right here. So we're gonna put it on a pretty low setting. And uh, around this setting right here, that's about uh, about a gallon a week. So there you have it. Um, all right.